Hi there, uh, this is Murph. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate to you installing uh, uh, and running Docker on a uh, CentOS uh, 6.5 VM. Um, so uh, I have this VM in the VMware Fusion here. You can have it in a virtual box or any other <coughs> uh, software like VMware Player or VMware Workstation. Should be similar. So this one has a, a pretty uh, small footprint here. So one gig and two core. You can have one core and you know one gig memory or, uh, for for your VM. So I just gonna yeah install it, install Docker, which is like a, a platform as a service uh, application. So it allows you to run multiple instances of uh, different uh, distributions uh, inside a uh, server or you know VM, whatever you wanna call it, uh, without having separate VM for each one of them, and they are completely isolated. And Docker uses a, a Linux container under the hood, so it's pretty uh, pretty cool actually. Uh, so to do that, first, uh, so I'm already SSH'd on this uh, VM here, which is uh, my CentOS VM. You can see, you know, it's pretty uh, basic. You know, uh, so first I need to install the EPL EPEL repository on the CentOS box here. To get Docker installed, to get the Docker uh, installation file. So to do that, you just go in Google and search for you know installing APL repository in CentOS, and it should come up with uh, some results, and you can install it. Docker website have uh, some guidelines for that as well. So it's pretty simple. So you can, I'm just gonna go to the result here, and I'm just gonna install. Uh, just copy this. So CentOS six. Uh, it just uh, repository some extra packages. Okay, and I'm gonna run this line. Okay, and I'm gonna run this. So now I should have EPL repository installed. So if I go to Etsy, yum. Sorry about the sound. So you see I have EPL and Remy uh, both configured by these uh, steps. So now I should be able to pull Docker uh, installation. To do that, you just go yum install. If you're in a non-root environment, you can just have sudo. If you have sudo configured, so in this case, I have already logged into root, so yum i install docker dot dash io okay looking it up let's see if I can get bigger okay It's not, uh, you see how small footprint is 3.6 megabyte, uh, uh, but the install size is 8 megabyte though, so uh, that's not bad. It's better than, uh, you know, a complete big hypervisor. So I have now Docker installed. So now, um, I'm just gonna uh, start the Docker service. So I do service Docker status. It stopped currently, so it's a Docker service that uh, runs the service. I'm just gonna say start. So now, it should be started. And, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna go to chk. Just make sure it uh, starts automatically when the uh, computer starts. So, I'm just So now, when whenever it's VM boots up, Docker will be installed by default. Okay. So now I'm gonna uh, pull an image. So uh, first, uh, for example, I wanna. This is a CentOS box, right? So I just wanna try Ubuntu uh, distribution here on the same box. So I can I can do so by uh, let me see here. Let me run Docker info first. So yeah, I have the Docker information here. Um, gives you kind of information what Docker is using right now. So I'm just gonna Docker 
cool, right? Um, say Ubuntu. You can also search first, right? So you can search Ubuntu and see what images are there already. Okay, so you see a lot of people uploaded different Ubuntu images uh, into Docker repository. So you can do your own, you know, custom uh, Docker package. So the big, great thing about Docker is that you can you can create an image and configure it the way you like, and you can basically transfer to different systems without you know doing a lot of configuration. You can that's more uh, you know uh, helpful if you want to share application. Um, so I'm just gonna pull. Ubuntu. I'm just gonna. I know that Ubuntu. There is only Ubuntu. Docker pool. I wanna pull an image called Ubuntu. So now it's gonna pull the Ubuntu image from the repository. It's similar to uh, FreeBSD gel or uh, Solar Zones kind of concept, looks like. <clears throat> Just gonna still going through downloading. It's almost there. Waiting. Uh, actually, no, that's okay. It's almost done. Okay. Let's see which one wins. It's almost like a race. If you have an old system, um, you could use uh, Docker instead of uh, you know running, uh, throwing it off. You know sometimes you can run KVM on old PCs, so it's gonna be handy if you are if you want to use uh, you know, Docker. Okay, almost there. Okay, done. So now we have our image pulled pulled in here. So I'm just gonna. Uh, log into that image. So I'm just gonna go to do that. You go just to Docker uh, run i dash t Ubuntu and we want a bash shell. Okay, so I'm in there now. As you see here the uh, login prompt change. That's the Docker uh, you know ID of the container. So I'm just gonna have config. You see the IP address is different, right? If I want to use Python, oh, it's already installed, so that's good. So you already have Python installed, right? So say I wanna okay. Uh, let's see if we have Ruby installed. No, no Ruby install. Let's install Ruby now. Say I wanna try uh, Ruby without installing on this uh, CentOS image. So I can install it here. So I can do uh, apt get install Ruby. All right. So you might have a specific Ruby environment you wanna you know configure for your application testing without installing into your machine every time. You know. So uh, you can just you know, install it in Docker image and then you can play with your application. Uh, and you can have multiple environment together on the same machine, you know. So now I have Ruby installed. So I do IRB. There you go. Three plus five. Oh, eight. So that's about it. So if you wanna um, 
see the list of your Docker images on your machine, um, what you can do is basically uh, you know, uh, Docker PS. Right now it's not running, so uh, let's see here. So I'm just gonna open another terminal here. Uh, let me see here. So one and two. So you see the Docker image is already taken a IP address from your machine, from this uh, central machine. So that's the Docker IP, right? So, um, so I can do. So this is the VM, the CentOS master image. So I'm just gonna log into that in a separate. Uh, great. Just wanna run a module terminal. So I'm gonna to go to the Docker image here. The Docker PS, right? So you see I have this, you know, running. So I can see what image. See so if I have a if I want to run a Fedora on the same box, I can do Docker pool Fedora. Like it'll pull the uh, Fedora image here on the same machine, and then I can also run that at the same time, right? So it's pretty cool actually. And he can set up, uh, you know. Uh, like a complete application, so you can have a web server, an SQL server, uh, you know, uh, an application server on the same box, and you can each one of them could be your uh, isolated instance, a Docker instance, and they can actually com uh, set up communication between themselves so that they can talk to each other. So it's pretty cool actually, without having to install a very heavy uh, hypervisor and you know putting separate VMs. Also, you can you know uh, move this application around to different machine uh, and and just run it seamlessly. So that's about it. Uh, enjoy.